But you know that if you have a radio in your living room and it's, uh, you have all frequencies in your living room, BBC, Radio Moscow, ABC, but your radio is tuned to one frequency. You're, de or you're decohered from all the other frequencies. You're only coherent with one frequency. Right. We now believe that the universe is vibrating and that there are vibrations of different universes right in this room. They're the wave function of aliens from outer space all in your living room, except we have decohered from them. We're no longer in tune with them. We don't vibrate with them. But it means that probably there are other parallel universes in your living room. And believe it or not, this is called modern physics. What the system has done is to keep from us the nature of the reality we're experiencing and the nature of who we are in life itself. And in doing so, it has kept us completely in the dark about what's actually happening around us. Look! Look at them! They're everywhere! Now hold on. You ain't the first son of a bitch to wake up out of their dream. We can only decode their visible light level. We see the human level. We see we see people under different names called Rockefeller and Rothschild and Bush and Obama and all the rest of it. But if we could see beyond visible light, just a little bit, some people can, you would see overshadowing these people anything but a human. The, the, the brain is decoding reality like a computer decodes information and puts it on the screen. However, if you program the computer to read the information in a certain way, then it will. And in the same way, if you can program the human brain to read information in a certain way, then it will. The bloodlines are interbreeding incessantly and have been right back to ancient Babylon and Sumer and Egypt, etc. and beyond. Because they are holding a certain genetic code which allows the possession, another ancient, ancient common theme from as far back as you can track right to today, a, a genetic code which allows these entities to possess these particular bloodline families within the reality that we experience. And these uh, families are therefore simply vehicles of these demonic entities. The knowledge that's passed across the top levels of the secret society network through these bloodline families, the most important part of that knowledge is that it's the knowledge of reality itself. For instance, we think as we look around here that we're seeing everything that exists within this room, but in fact we're only seeing a frequency range, a very tiny one, called visible light. Anything outside of that we can't decode, therefore we can't see. But just like radio stations share the same space without interfering with each other, so other worlds, other dimensions, other realms of reality, if you like, share the same space without interfering with each other. In which case, maybe they're all around us and we don't even know. Look, lady, we're in trouble. The whole world's in trouble. They're all around us and we never knew it. You can only see them with these special glasses. I swear to you, we're being controlled by these things. I don't know what they are or where they came from, but we right. gotta stop them. Right. So shape-shifting is not the movement from a dense physical body to a dense physical body. It would, would appear from the endless research that I've done and people I've talked to all over the world and, and, and all the rest of it put together, my own experiences sometimes, that what we're looking at are these hybrid bloodlines, because of the hybrid nature of the DNA, the software program,
they have a vibrational sympathy with that which interbred with them. So these bloodlines can be, quote, possessed, their emotional, mental faculties taken over much more easily than the general run of the population does not have that hybrid DNA, thus that vibrational sympathy compatibility between the two energy fields. When we look at him with our five sense sight, we are going to decode that level of him that is operating with invisible light. So what do we see? We see a human. But behind him, just outside of that frequency range, we'd see something very different. And I've met endless people who've seen it. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. It was nearly 10 years ago. Our impulses right are being redirected. We are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep. Oh, that damn hacker, that Images second damn night, that asshole, Scotty. into our national memory. The movement was Hijack begun eight months ago by a small group of scientists who discovered, quite by accident, the signals being sent through. Like smoke blowing up from the Pentagon. The wreckage was given me a headache. Yeah, I tell me about it. Shanks, that's what they took the hackers months to figure out how to do this. The poor and the underclass are growing. Racial justice and human rights are non-existent. They have created a repressive society, and we are their unwitting accomplices. Their intention to rule rests with the annihilation of consciousness. We have been lulled into a trance. They have made us indifferent to ourselves, to others. We are focused only on our own gain. Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. That is their primary method of survival. Keep us asleep, keep us selfish, keep us sedated. The point the water out of the sand is much Blow it out your ass. ...on the dinner table. The children who were forced to grow up without their mother or their father. Parents who would never know the feeling of their child's embrace. is like a, a blocking frequency. Um, and it is preventing us, and I say that it, access, it, it accesses the body computer through the reptilian brain, um, one of the uh, 
major influences on human behaviour. It's where we get the fear of, of not surviving and, and anxiety and about not surviving, not just physically but financially in terms of our reputation, our relationship, our job, all this stuff. Um, and we're being um, suppressed by this blocking frequency. Science has no idea where the moon came from. And as one scientist said quite rightly, the only thing you can say for sure uh, about the, um, the moon is it must be observational error. It shouldn't be there. Brittany is suffering from a major psychological disorder and uh, that it might actually be bipolar to be back. The doc then predicts how much longer they'll live. <laughs> Six, I know, but I also know you want to hear what she has to say. The doc says if these people don't get help or straighten up fast, I haven't pre-read any of this. Brittany won't make it to the age 30, Lindsay won't see 25, and Michael Jackson has no more than five years left. At the other end, Angelina is going to have a long, healthy life. And so would will George Bush and Nicole Richie. If you're already, if you're not already what, bipolar, what, if you're yelling in the booth, are they yelling at me? The other elbows. Oh, yeah. like shit. I'm out. What happened? <laughs> What's wrong? What? If you're yelling in the booth, are they yelling at me oh. for the way I read that? Oh. Yelling at me for oh. the way. Oh. Over the team, and you're like. Over the queen, and you're like. It's very clear when you put all this stuff together that, um, for me, the moon is not real. Could be a hollowed out planetoid, or it could be a um, a from, from scratch uh, construct. Because this is the big thing that we as humans have to get across and get over if we're going to understand the nature of what's going on in the world. And that is the cutting edge of human technological, whatever you want to call it, potential. Funnily enough, sits back in amazement, deep breath. Sh sh shock to the core is actually not the cutting edge of what's actually possible. So how did the reptilians put up this net or this net technology? Do you have any information about that? It's layers. It's not just a net. This is layers. I think this 
you know, one inside of the, the other. The Chinese box. China that way. I know it's, uh, I heard it referred to as the Martian net. So I think that this extends all the way to Mars. And I know that they use wormholes and portals in order to transport body parts and what have you from energy points here, probably portals or energy centers, which are there uh, connected to wormholes. They use those to transport to Mars and to Orion. Think that's something. Take a look at this. Go on, take a closer look. Attention commuters, flight Alpha 7 to Andromeda is now ready for boarding. Please step to the transmission platform. That's where they come from. All carry-on luggage must be held securely. Thank you for waiting, and we hope you have a pleasant trip. Exactly, but it has to do with some sort of gravitational lens deal, uh, bending the light or some damn thing. <laughs> but you can move from place to place, world to world, if you want to. You see, the whole thing, it works like one big airport. Boys, let me tell you, they got their act together. Believe you me. What is the Matrix? Control. The Matrix is a computer-generated dream world built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. No. I don't believe it. It's not possible. I didn't say it would be easy, Neo. I just said it would be the truth.